you guys and welcome back to my channel. Fun fact, I had today's video all pre-recorded and ready to be edited on my SD card uh, from last week and somehow I managed to break my SD card like it split straight down the center which resulted in me losing this video and then another one that was supposed to come out in a few days that was a pretty intricate project but I'm trying to like keep positive and try to just find time to redo them somewhere in the 40 hour work week. So I figured during my lunch break, even though it's here in my car, which is my least favorite place to film, I wanted to get it done. But with setbacks aside, these are five things I do not buy, summer edition. I love watching these type of videos. They're all over on like financial and budgeting channels. So I figured I wanted to do one for the summer before August was over. So without any further ado, here are five things I do not buy. Number one is seasonal summer makeup. I don't go out and buy foundations in darker shades as I get more sun. I actually mix BB cream and bronzer and it just kind of helps me show. I don't look like I'm super tan right now. I just use a little bit of bronzer and a darker shaded BB cream to match my skin tone during these months because to me it's not worth it to go out and buy an entire bottle. It takes me three to four months to go through a foundation and I don't know how tan I would get at any point in time. So I just use BB cream and bronzer. Number two are cards, because summer seems to be the time of year when everybody gets married, has bridal showers, is pregnant, baby showers, buys houses, like big events always happen in the summer. And I always wanna get gifts and cards for my friends, but I just do not fathom the idea of paying like five to seven dollars for a card. So me and my trusty printer, we will go and make cards, which I don't think is a cheap way out. I think it's actually more thoughtful to print and make your own cards because you can personalize them write your own text, use your own pictures. I actually looked through all the cards I have kept throughout the years and majority of them are ones that were handmade or just written out like handwriting. I think those are so much more personable and they don't cost you $7. Number three is shower gel. I recently compared the prices of shower gel versus bar soap. Shower gel usually costs two to three dollars for maybe like 15 to 20 ounces, whereas a box of three big bars of soap costs me usually a dollar. And it doesn't, I don't really care if I use a loofah or not. I'm not super like germaphobia. I just want to be clean and bar soap to me smells just as good. Number four on my list is jewelry. This kind of ties back to the cards where everybody's having these big events and you want to look nice and formal and professional and what have you. Uh, for me, I used to get a whole bunch of earrings. I had them all on a really pretty board. I've minimized that board and now I have a few studs, like diamond studs, cubic zirconium. I only have one pair of real diamonds, just PS. And then I have pearls of different sizes. I find that studs or pearls cover a plethora of all the events I go to. And then if I do have something, I'll either borrow or I'll use like my costume jewelry from shows because I did hold on to those because they were given to you and I keep them on a little box and when I need them, I pull them out. And last on my list of things I do not buy is candles. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that will probably be taken off the list next month when it's fall, but for right now, I am actually still using candles I got as Christmas gifts. I have lost my power in my home two times this summer during storms, and as I pull out candles, because I wasn't gonna have power all night, I find they are still the ones that are like Cotton Candy Express and Noel and just whatever Christmassy candles I've had around which shows me I don't need to be buying candles every month if we are in August and I'm still using candles from December. Once again, that will change next month when everything in the world becomes pumpkin spice and I'll want just a plethora of new, you know, fall aesthetic candles. But for now, I'm gonna be using up all my Christmas candles and not be buying any new ones. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what things you do not purchase in the summer, things that you just think are not worth the time or the money or the effort. I'm kind of interested to see that. Put those down in the comments below. But anyway, those are five things that I do not buy summer edition. If you like these kind of videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click that subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys. Side note, it was a big bummer that I did lose all of this footage that I had previously recorded a week ago. 
but I did want to take this time to thank you for all of your comments and I've been trying to get back to everyone's comments. Some people leave me comments on Instagram or Facebook or even on just videos or private messaging. I try to get back to all of them, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate all the support on this channel and I'm hoping to continue to bring you guys five videos a week. It is a hectic schedule. I am filming all of my videos on Friday between 6.30 and 8 in the morning. Um, that does sound kind of intense, but it does get all of my filming for the week done. Then the editing is just quick and easy right on the computer. Sometime I will make a video showing you guys from start to finish how a video goes up from the writing to the filming to the editing to the SEO to the pictures to the thumbnails to everything else. It is quite a process, but once you get it, it's like a finely tuned machine. Whew, I am blabbering. I'm going to get out of here. You guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, let's go edit this.